hello welcome back to Odoo 17 development tutorials in this session we are going to discuss regarding validation errors in Odoo so there might be some use cases where we have to show some validation message to the end user so let's see how we can do that so here we have the patient table and I have created one patient in the database as well as an appointment using that patient so my patient is Sam and Sam has got one appointment with a reference AP 0048 now if i try to delete sam from my database it will show us a big technical error message which will be confusing for the user it says like if you see the message it's technical so maybe your end user or client ask please beautify this message i don't need to get this message i need a better error message so in that case right now this message is popping out from the on delete restrict policy which we have added for this field so if you don't know on delete restrict policy i'll just add the video link in the description section so that you can learn about on delete restrict policy so in this session we will be discussing about how to beautify this message with our own validation error so what we have to do is that whenever i delete a patient if that patient has some appointments i should show like you cannot delete this patient at the moment because you have some existing appointments so we need to show such an error message which will be easy for user to understand so first of all we need to show at the delete so we have to inherit the delete method of odoo so already inside the patient model here i have inherited the unlink method which is the delete method of odoo using super now i can inject my logic here so i'll just iterate self over a for loop for reckon self and what i have to check if the patient has some appointments so using the search or rm which you haven't learned yet self.env i'll search inside the appointment model appointment model using search orm then i can pass a domain so what should be the domain domain should be patient id equal to self dot or rec dot id i'm passing like this so i have prepared a domain like i need to search inside hospital dot appointment i have a patient field this is patient field inside appointment whose value is equal to current id so if there is some appointments what i'll do if appointments i'll raise a validation error validation error let me just import that error so from here yeah i'll copy this and i'll put it here raise validation error then you can put some message so i'll just do like this you cannot delete the patient now appointments existing i'll just write it like this i can rephrase it later so what i have done is i have raised a validation error now you have to import that from odoo.exceptions import validation error you have to import that from odoo.exception then you can see i have used an underscore this is for translation purpose you know odoo is a multi-user language user can set his own language and we will be showing the ui based on the user language so this message also has to be translated to user language so you have to write it like this with the use of underscore so you have to import that underscore also so i'll import from odoo i'll import underscore and i'm raising such a warning now let's restart and try to delete the record so previously we were getting a technical message now if i try to delete you are getting validation error you cannot delete patient now existing appointments which is erased from here so if you need to beautify like this maybe if you need a new line i can put a slash n appointments existing for this patient and i can add the patient name here can put this format rec dot patient id sorry rec dot name it's fine rec dot name so i don't need the comma here so i have just improved the message i'll move it to a new line 
and let's try to delete once again now it's same you cannot delete patient now appointment existing for the patient sam so this is how you can raise validation error in odoo similar to validation error you have users user error also so if you search here we will see user error so let's import that also validation error comma user error now instead of validation error i'll raise user error and let's see so i have already started now let me try to delete invalid operation so if you use user error it will be showing as invalid operation but if you use validation error it's like a coming as validation error so based on use your use case you can use user error or validation error so now if i try to delete again you can see validation error is raised so i hope this point is clear for you if you have any doubts feedback or suggestion please let us know in the comment section so that that's it for the day have a nice day thank you